Let's take a look and see how the shift and the tilt movements look in camera. So here we have our scene, some uh, rusty old side of machinery, and let's look at the shift first. We can shift the image or shift the lens down to see a lower part of the scene, and we can go quite far down, and we can also shift the lens up back to zero position and then above our zero position to see more of the scene. So an obvious use of this shift would be to simply take one image in the center, shift down, take a second image at the bottom, and then shift up and take a third image at the top, stitch those all together in software, and we'd have one large vertical image. That's quite nice to use. And of course, as we've shown you before, we can use shift to correct perspective. If the lens is pointing down, for instance, this is the scene that we want, we get those converging lines, that keystoning effect. To correct, we simply put the camera back parallel to the subject and then, in this case, shift down to see that composition that we wanted, which is about right here. And then we don't have that keystoning effect. We can adjust it a little bit because I don't have the back totally parallel. There it is. And shift down a little bit more. And we've corrected that keystoning effect. The other thing, of course, we can do is we can rotate the shift. So now it goes side to side. And we can do a similar thing where we could make a horizontal panorama by using the shift feature. That's quite nice to use. So let's straighten this out a little bit and show you what the tilt does. So right now the tilt happens to be in a side to side plane. And what you'll see in this case is, is tilt really does affect the plane of focus mostly. And you can see that as we tilt, what I'm doing now is tilting to camera right um, both the right and left side of the frame are out of focus and there's a thin slice in the middle and then as I tilt to camera left the opposite effect happens. Um, this doesn't yet look too useful on this particular scene but we'll see why we would use tilt as we look at other scenes. And remember we can rotate the tilt so that now it goes up and down and now we're going to see the top and the bottom of the frame become blurry and we can tilt up. And then of course you can readjust your focus. Maybe we just want the top of the frame sharp and then the rest gets blurry. And as we tilt down, maybe we can also make the top of the frame sharp. And then you can see that the bottom is blurry. So we can really change the plane of focus and we'll see why that's useful in a bit. Let's refocus that and also show you that you can do a diagonal tilt and so now we're at a diagonal and we're the left and the right side, the upper right and the lower left are what's really most affected as we tilt the lens in one direction or another. And we'll see how that's useful as we look at other videos. That's how the tilt and shift movements look in camera.